All right, guys, so what we've got here is I just recently purchased three of these uh, metal T-ring adapters for Nikon. I happen to have this on this uh, other adapter here, but you've got the one here and those two. And you'll notice I've got a silver mark that I made one there. I've got two on here and three on here. And the reason for that is to distinguish these when I show my test here, or show the results of these three. They all fit different. They were all bought at the exact same time off of Amazon. They were $7.99 each. I did notify the company, or, uh, you know, Astromania about this. And uh, I'll tell you what their initial uh, questions or answer was to me. And so, what we've got in these three that were bought at the same time, extremely poor quality control. Each one of these fits different. So here's what they said. Thank you for your order. We learned about your situation from the message you left, which we attach great importance to. Each product is manufactured according to a fixed quality control program that the process production error is controlled by 0.1 millimeter so we are surprised that you have encountered problems and we will and we will feedback them to the production department to ensure a better experience for the customers in response to your questions about a Nikon adapter not going on your camera body could you please provide us with the following information which will help us solve your problem faster improve your products and then uh, let me just add the following here I let them know that uh, this isn't my first rodeo I've been taking pictures for 55 years, okay, had Nikon equipment since the mid-80s, tons of lenses, uh, I currently have in the DSLR, or, or in uh, cameras, they're F2, F3, 2F4s, an F5, D70S, and just recently a Nikon D850, so let me go on with what they've had to say. The installation of ring adapter is the opposite of installing camera lens. Whatever the fuck that means. Like most telescopes, and I added that part. Like most telescope adapters on the market, clockwise is the direction of tightening. The T-ring may be stuck due to the wrong angle of rotation or failure of spring plate inside the camera buckle. So could you please reconfirm that direction of rotation as clockwise in the tightening process. And again, when they say clockwise, I'm not sure what they mean. Because let's take this camera here. Let's take this camera. This is my F3. Now, when these go on, you put it on like this and you rotate it that way. That's how they all go on. Put it on, rotate. So I'm not sure what they mean. So I, I couldn't put much faith in that question. You know, what's clockwise? Is it viewed from the front? Is it viewed from the top? I mean, I don't know. Second, for the, uh, okay, for the second and third Nikon adapter you mentioned that have problems during the installation process, could you please provide us with a video? I did say I would, I could do a video for them uh, by email address as shown in the attachment and we will then be better positioned to, uh, to be able to adequately respond to your case. We're waiting for your reply. Regards, best regards, Jacqueline, Astromenia. Astromania Optics. So next we're going to do this. And the reason I've got these marked, and we're going to do this all in one big clip. We're not gonna, I want to make sure that there's nothing that I'm doing. Okay, that's why I got these marked. One, two, and three. Because I wanted to make sure that I could prove that each one of these are different and I'm not changing anything. Alright, so first let's go on with this one. The one with one mark fits good. So what you got to do, let me, is they got this red mark. That red mark aligns with the white dot on the on the camera body. So when you put this on, you, and I wish it was on the side here so you could see it easier, you know. But so what you got to do is you got to look at that and kind of come in just like that. And I, I always, always. Push in and hold that until it comes in and clicks. So, as you can see, all my equipment is pristine. I'm very, very picky. And this, oh God, I bought this, I think, uh, in the 80s. Yeah, I believe. I don't even remember. So, all my equipment is handled 
I mean, it's, it's an optical piece of equipment. So, and then what you do is, like I said, you have the red dot, line it up, and then you rotate it. You have to rotate it in this direction because what happens is this slot, this, this groove that's machined in here, then goes into, that's where this pin goes into, which retains it from rotation. So, this one fits good. So we're going to line it up like that. Then we're going to go like this, and there it is. And that fits good. No slop, no play. This is perfect. All right. So now let's go on to the one marked with a two. And I'm going to put it on this other adapter. Okay, now you can see it's marked two. I don't know how well this will show up. But this has some slop to it. So there's the red dot. Put it in there. Just like that. Hopefully you can hear that. That's got slop in it. Okay. So now let's take this one off. And now let's try number three. Number three won't even go on. I mean, it's it just like, I'll show you here. So, number three, those three silver marks that I've made with a Sharpie marker. Here's your red dot. Put that on like that. Now, so let's, tr let's make sure we've got this lined up and it's flat. There's only one goddamn way this can go on. They said something about an angle. You put this on until this mates flat to the surface. So I don't know what they were talking about. You know, how I don't know how she do it. I, whatever, okay? So you put it on here like this. And then, that's all the further this thing goes. It will not go any further. I could take a 48-inch pipe wrench, a rigid pipe wrench, which I have down in my basement, and it still won't go on. Of course, I'm being sarcastic when I say that. But, you know, there, and it's flat. And that's it, right there. Okay? Now, this is freaking amazing. Again, three different adapters. Well, three, three of the same adapters bought at the exact same time. All three have a different fit. That's what I call piss poor quality control. When you can get three of them at the same time, these are three examples out of whatever they, whoever, wherever they had them, picked them out of a bin, you know, on a shelf from Amazon or whatever, and all three fit different. And again, like I said, I wish they had the mark out here. So you, there, and that's it. That is it. It had to rotate all the way back around to here, so you can see where it had to rotate to to lock in with that. And that's all the further it will go. I've tried it on all seven cameras. Same thing. Same thing. This is garbage quality control. As far as your... Uh, Point or your 0 0.1 millimeter, I call bull crap on that Astromania. Bull crap. Oh, and by the way, Astromania, as a machinist and tool and die maker, I've worked at tolerances an average of 10 times thinner than the human hair at 0 0.0003. So I know what I'm talking about when I talk about tolerances.